Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, February 14th, 2019. Happy Valentine's Day to those of you that are celebrating. Um, I hope you have a great day. So this is a general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this is not specific to sun, sign, uh, well, any sign. It's not love specific. It's not career specific. It is just whatever spirit would like to s discuss with us today, yeah? Um, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Oh, also, because it's, you know, the message for today, it, or at least it's dated for today, Thursday, uh, it doesn't mean it has to be something that resonates to, at this moment in time, okay? Energies are fluid. Okay. Ooh. Mm, excuse me. Okay, so, anyway, let's just get right into it. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Thursday, February 14th, 2019. All right, here we go guys. Let's get some shuffles in and then we'll see what we've got for the day. Well, the cards don't seem to want to shuffle today. Let's try this again. I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm still a little iffy, but you know, we're getting there. Okay, one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got. All right, Thursday, February 14th, on this Valentine's Day, we've got Moonchild, okay. Mm. Okay, yeah, I think, oh, there we go. All right, so underneath the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. All right. We also have the moon child card here. Now, this is, now, first of all, this is the moon child tarot, okay? So this card is unique to the deck here. It talks about the phases of the moon and what we can learn from the moon cycles, what we can learn from our own cycles. We have, uh, well, let's go this way first. We have the hermit with the four of swords, the high priestess, and the queen of swords. Okay, so um, we do have a full moon coming up. I'm not exactly sure when it is. So those of you that are aware, please go ahead and like leave it down in the comments. Um, but we do have a full moon coming up. I want to say within like the next week or so, potentially. Maybe not. I'm sorry, whatever. I don't know exactly when it's coming, but we do have a full moon coming up. And um, some of you are already feeling the effects of this full moon. But, excuse me, but if, you're, if that's not the case for you, well, okay, no, uh, uh, to be quite honest, the moon energies are already coming forward. Um, and some of you may have really been going hermit either you're getting into another hermit mode um you know you're you're in this like cyclical flow you're either in sync like with the moon cycles or your own cycle is it's kind of leading you to be uh, take take a bit of a break go into a bit of a hermit mode here okay we have the hermit with the four of swords there's a lot of contemplation happening well actually there is a ton of contemplation happening between the Four of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Now, some of you are going into this hermit mode because you're afraid of something. You're trying to break free. 
honestly, this is the, basically this is the theme of the reading, the Eight of Swords, okay? But this is trying to break free. This is not how I normally see the Eight of Swords or how it is normally seen, whereas, you know, you're, you're trapped up in your own head and blah, blah, blah. I mean, yes, it's a similar energy, but in this case, it's not about, you know, being trapped and needing to get out of your head. It's about trying to get out of your head, okay? Um, there's a lot of secretive energy here. Now, first of all, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, in the background, uh, energetically, okay? Um, and in order for you to get in tune with it, you're really having to go within to communicate with yourself or your inner high priestess here, okay? Between the hermit and the high priestess. Um, some of you probably are choosing to be pretty secretive. Um, you're not really wanting to communicate much if any, at all, with many of the people around you. Or internally, you're going through this effort of breaking out of the cage, okay? Now, the Moonchild card here is stating the full moon energies can really help you, okay? Full moons are a time for um, release, letting go of things, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, this is not a love reading right now. And, if, and, I, and the only reason I'm saying this is because I'm... <laughs> Spirit just pointed out to me that, you know, it's Valentine's Day and... This is not even close to a love reading. And, and you know what, though? It still can be because um, we're talking self-love here, okay? This is the action that you're taking. In an in, in act of self-love, you either are taking some time or you're needing to take some time away to go within and just rest. This really is needing to be a very restful period. There's a lot of shifts happening. A lot is changing. Vibrations are rising. There are new waves coming in. Um, excuse me. Obviously, this is a time for rest. We're needing rest because that's the third time I've yawned <laughs> during this reading. Um, there, are, there are energetic waves coming in that are helping raise the vibration of the planet. And many of us, many, many, many of us are feeling the symptoms of it right now. Um, there's a lot of release of low vibrational, dense energies. So that could be why you're feeling so tired. It's a lot of the reason why I'm feeling so tired. Um, you needing to rest. Just needing to rest, y'all. Oh, and then also with this Queen of Swords energy, this is this is the actual action-oriented energy that's going to help move you forward, okay? That's going to help cut things out of your life. The, honestly, the Queen of Swords energy is the best energy to utilize when um, trying to make changes, trying to cut things out, because the Queen of Swords energy doesn't mess around. She doesn't, she doesn't need a debate about it. She just recognized something that doesn't, excuse me, recognizes something that doesn't resonate with her or doesn't fit or something that she just doesn't want to be a part of any longer. And she just cuts it out. No ifs, ands, or buts, you know, no questions asked. So that's really a perfect energy, a very perfect energy here. With the high priestess, this is you, um, communicating with your higher self, but also communi communicating with the universe. You may be getting a lot of downloads lately, which could be why you're feeling so tired. You may be doing a lot in your dream state also. But yeah. This really is a perfect time to work on breaking free from some of the cage. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you're going to be able to break free from all of it at once, nor should you try to do that. That might be too much. But now is a time, okay? Now, now is a time to work on this. So if you're really feeling like you need to just go within and stay home and not really hang out right now or whatever, go for it.
Use your intuition. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to get into some clarification here. Um, and I'm going to be using the unicorn tarot today for clarification. Let me just shuffle this up a little bit. Yeah, rest as much as possible, guys, right now. That's what the Hermit and the Four of Swords is saying. Okay, so we're going to start with the Hermit and the Four of Swords here. Just some clarification, please, Spirit. Oh, well, look, would you look at that? Would you... Ooh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Hierophant here. All right. And you have the King of Swords here. Oh, wow. The King of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Interesting. All right. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Wow. Okay, so there's major change going on here. There's major change going on. Boy, oh boy. Okay, well, I'm seeing, I'm seeing two sides of the equation. This could be one person, this could be two people. Um, I mean, initially what I'm seeing here, here is one person is embodying the Five of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the King of Swords energy, while the other person is embodying the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Now, like I said, though, this could be, this could be all one person. This could be all your energy or all of the other person's energy. This is a general reading, guys. So take it, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it fits into your situation, and it's not necessarily how I'm describing it, if it fits, then take it. Okay. <clears throat> now, two things. One, we have the counterpart to the Queen of Swords here in the King of Swords. We also have the counterpart to the High Priestess here, the Hierophant. I'm hearing indoctrination with the Hierophant. So, um, this you could be coming out of a situation in which someone was trying to indoctrinate you. Someone was trying to get you to conform, was trying to get you to join the ranks. Uh, but I don't think you went along with it. Um, and this really, this could be a past situation. Um, it doesn't have to be too recent. This could be, you know, a few months ago, potentially. Um, but you're really, this is a time to really work on purging this situation. Now, the beauty of it is that you do have some sort of you know, self-mastery energy on your side here with the Three of Pentacles, but it's come at the expense of all of this, the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Luckily, we have the Ten of Swords here, okay, which is stating that the worst is behind you, but this has been a really rough situation. It probably had a, a there was probably a lot of betrayal in the situation, heartbreak, okay, and... Uh, twisted, imbalanced energy, potentially imbalanced masculine energy, twisted masculine energy. I do often see that in the Five of Swords, twisted masculine energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so that was your past in the situation. This is what you're going within to deal with. Okay. Um, mentally, though, you have the King of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Five of Wands. So... 
you're st you, you're probably still pretty conflicted about this with the five of wands energy um it potentially was something that you wanted to get some sort of union marriage out of okay the four of wands with the higher front can talk about marriage but now with this king of swords energy i mean it's it's balancing here you have the queen of swords here okay and now you have the king of swords the king of swords energy okay and so now i'm getting a little bit more clarification here which is great this is what we're doing right we're clarifying <laughs> sorry i'm being a wise ass <laughs> but the king of swords is the energy that's really working on settling what are whatever it is that happened here for you that you're going within to heal from to really put the final kibosh on it put the like really close out the situation okay um the queen of swords energy here is almost like the one standing guard while the king of swords is in the background doing all the sifting through to under to gain understanding Now the hero, the higher font. Even though every time I look at that card, I'm hearing indoctrination. I'm also getting a feeling of learning, learning from your mistakes, learning from the situation, just acquiring knowledge in general. That's helping to reshape your reality. So in the past, this could have been a situation where you were like facing the system or facing the man or facing the hierarchy the patriarchy whatever and now this card like in the and that was in the past in the present this card is representing what you're learning from the situation the higher knowledge the higher wisdom that is being integrated into your physical life because from from being in this situation okay There was deceit, there was de betrayal, there was backstabbing, there was heartbreak. Five of Swords. There was a lot of competition, too. Um, it probably was a really, it wasn't a very fair or just situation. And, okay, so, like, excuse me, all situations are a two-way street, like, all relationships are a two-way street, Yes. However, this situation heavily fell on, heavily favored the other party. I'm, that's the biggest thing I'm getting. Of course, it could be anything. But, well, it, it heavily favored the individual. Well, I'm not even going to say that. I was going to say it's heavily in favoring. It, it was, oh, let me say it this way. It was heavily against the person that's now going into this hermit mode, but spirit stopped me right there because it's like well no that's not the case everyone's kind of going into a hermit mode here regardless of what side you fell on in the situation okay there's a lot of deep learning and deep healing happening with this okay so now i want to clarify the high priestess and the queen of swords here please wow the six of wands okay <laughs> oh boy okay underneath the deck yeah you have the seven of pentacles see okay this is the card of officially like learning your lessons also reaping what you've sown the spirit just said to me but we have the eight of pentacles here we have the ten of wands now which i'm not surprised that came out we have the nine of pentacles and then we have the eight of swords again okay all right, so the first thing I'm getting with the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords here is that some of you are definitely, um, it's almost like some of you are feeling trapped in your independence. Or, you, um, how do I, you're using, this is weird, it's, it's almost not making sense as I'm saying it, but 
this is how it wants to come out. You're using your independence to keep yourself trapped in some way. Wow, that's interesting. The, the Eight of Swords is a defense mechanism for some of you. The mental entrapment, the, the fear, the worry, the anxiety. You're staying in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Whoops. Yeah, I see, and it just fell reversed. Yeah, there's something wrong. There's something not wrong. I, not wrong. There's something unbeneficial about this Nine of Pentacles energy right now. And for the most part, a lot of you are in this energy because you're still trying to work through, th through some things, so you're not trying to put yourself out there to get hurt again. I get it. But be careful not to stay in that energy for too long. Like, do what you need to do to break yourself free, to heal, to, to you know... But then come out of this Eight of Swords. It's almost like this, this cage, this mental prison is a safety net. Which would really give to the Ten of Wands. I mean, you're already burdened, so okay, you're going within, or you're, this person is going within and trying to heal and trying to, you know, understand the situation better. But it's almost as if, like, in some cases, some of you have taken on more responsibilities or more burdens, especially with accepting this mental prison in the way you have been for the sake of independence and safety. You're, like you're literally trading one prison for another. Familiarity, most likely. Okay. Um... Now, the positive part of all this is the Six of Wands and I, the Six of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. You're still working. You're still working on fixing yourself. Um, some of you might be... There's a little bit of a silver lining here, but the heavy, the biggest thing, and that silver lining being, you know being victorious, coming out of this on the other end and, you know, having helped and healed and fixed and whatnot. But some of you are really just drowning yourself in work, trying to drown it out, trying to escape it and putting up a facade as if everything is fine or you're doing well or you're feeling well. That's for some of you. And what's really needed here is for you to go within and see the bigger picture, says Spirit. Really needing to see the bigger picture. What's underneath here? The Ten of Pentacles <coughs> is underneath the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, well that makes sense because you're trying to get... For some of you, you put a lot of time and effort into whatever this situation was. And it just didn't work out the way you had expected, the way you wanted it to. But regardless of that, this is still the end goal here. For some of us, it's a family. For others, it's um, a career. But Spirit just said it's time well spent, to be honest. And you're on that path already. But see... Some of you, <laughs> some of you are here with the Nine of Swords, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, almost at the Ten. And the only thing that's stopping you is this Eight of Swords energy that has been adopted as a defense mechanism. Well, shucks. Mm. <laughs> the art of breaking free. 
it's so funny how you know you, you go through such a strong situation and you feel like you're coming out of it on, on top but then all of a sudden you take like three steps back and that is not necessarily a bad thing because I'm feeling like if when you do take those three steps back you're doing some really deep healing that once you're done with those that, that healing you emerge and just skyrocket or really just move forward very quickly in the next direction I really feel like if you are in the energy of you're feeling like you're taking a number of steps back There's a reason for it, and that reason is healing. Go with the flow. Use your intuition. Follow your intuition. If you find that you're diving into some previous things that are now coming up, maybe coming back up again, there is more that needs to be healed with that, okay? Mm hmm Okay. So let's go with the animal spirit it's here for some oracle guidance. Best message, please, Spirit. Oh boy. Oh boy, y'all. We have Phoenix, Hawk, and Lion. And then underneath the deck was Eagle. Wow. Okay, we'll start with Phoenix. Phoenix. Freedom from suffering and past karma. Reincarnation. The Phoenix represents the transformation of our past. It doesn't mean running from it, denying it, or burning bridges with rage. The Phoenix employs an advanced technique described in yoga as the burning of impurities through practice and dedication. The essence of the Phoenix is with us when we realize we have been suffering too long and something must change. We take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious mind and its long list of fears and aversions. At that very moment, the spark of the Phoenix is lit and the great bird helps us burn through our baggage. We no longer run from who we are what has happened to us, or what we have done. The stuckness and dead weight fall into the ashes and a lightness and clarity emerge. As the stagnancy continues to smolder, the phoenix uplifts our, I'm sorry, the, the phoenix lifts our spirits up and up and we begin to recognize ourselves again. We may catch a glimmer in our eye that wasn't there before. Look closely. It's a sign the fire of transformation is upon your wings. Yeah. Next we have Lion. <laughs> Oops. Here we go. And 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 Lion, 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 Lion. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Lion. Patient, regal, a complete master. The lion is a master of the fire element and the living mascot of self-transformation. A lion personality dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth. This dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all, by, but known intimately by few. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant, stealth, and precise in their words and actions. They do not waste energy or resources. This card reminds us that self-mastery is available to all, no matter where your quest begins. 
When in balance, lion is the epitome of peace and strength. When out of balance, lion is withdrawn and too serious. To bring into balance, one must practice some daily, daily meditation and friendship. And finally, we have hawk. Hawk. Watchful, all-seeing, messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you and the wings, I'm sorry, and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly. Though it may seem small or insignificant, it will eventually redirect your course. When in balance, Hawk sees clearly and is intuitive. When out of balance, Hawk sees too much and is suspicious. To bring into balance, one needs a perspective shift. Change that perspective, y'all. Okay, well, actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave it there because that feels pretty good. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day if you're celebrating. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow for our weekend edition. Yeah, take care, everyone. Bye.